Daddy Mystic, and oh, guess who I've got? Mama Moon is back, back in the house for this special reaction as we pay tribute to the life and the times of the great Jerry Garcia with the song, my personal favorite uh, Grateful Dead song, but one she's probably never heard before Terrapin Station. Terrapin Station medley, to be exact. This uh, song came out in 1977, and this is the Grateful Dead at their most progressive so uh, it's uh, it's it's quite a ride and I want to expose you to this uh, song now I believe the last uh, Grateful Dead um, song we did was Mountains of the Moon mm -hmm. do you remember we did that okay. way back when and this is uh, quite the transition uh, this is them at their height of their musical uh, studio work I think and uh, I think you'll enjoy it so uh, it was uh, August 1st what happened to be uh, Jerry's, uh, Jerry Garcia's uh, birthday. Uh, he passed away in 1995, so it's, um, it's uh, every August 1st. It's like Jerry Garcia Day, so we do a little anniversary. Uh, us deadheads, so. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, so uh, enough talk, and let's get down to it. All right, let's do it. Happy to have you back. Thanks. And by the way, guys, it's going to be her birthday tomorrow, so wish her a happy birthday. I'm Thank not going to tell her your age. Or I'm not going to tell you guys her age. That's Thank something you. for her to do, not me. I'm 21. <laughs> 21 years around the sun. Okay. Here we go. Terrapin Station, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I think so. You've been warned. <laughs> Let's go.
coming out again The man he fairly left again That's how it stands today You decide he was wise Job is to share light and not to master.
songs in one. That was pretty cool though. Yeah, jazz, you got yep. all the reggae in it yeah. and stuff. A little of everything. So it's definitely a journey. Yeah. That's the song you have to sit back and just let the music take you on the journey. But uh, your overall opinion on the song, having heard it for your first I mean, it's time a, reaction. It's a story mm -hmm. from what I was, um, while I was listening, I was trying to like read. Piece together what the song was about. about and understand the flow. But it's basically a, a love story. Okay. With like a two guys and then a, a woman from what I saw. Which is kind of dope, the but I don't think this, you know, I may get in trouble for this, but the lyrics were great, uh -huh. but it, it's nothing compared to the the orchestra, the music, and the sound. Meaning the the or, the orchestral, the orchestral, the music, the music part of it you liked, the lyrics not so much? No, I like the lyrics, they're cool, you know, it tells the story as to why, but I mean, it was, the music was solid. Like how it went into different phases. Different like sections? Different, you yeah, you enjoyed that? Yeah. So as I said, this is um, the dead at their peak of their musical prowess. This is, they aren't known for being a studio band. So in 1977, they're on their, um, they had, by this time, they had made their own record label called mm -hmm. Arista Records. So they wanted to uh, push the envelope as far as musicianship is concerned. And they really took a leap forward in their studio work. So it shows in the song the different changes, mm -hmm. the percussion in this is absolutely amazing, the rhythm devils. Uh, but I want to uh, show you uh, just a little background about this song. Okay, go Okay, ahead. and tell me what you think. So, t it says, oh, by the way, Uncle Ted, what did you think of the song? It's it's it, it's eclectic. It's it's a hodgepodge of different different influences you can hear in the music. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, I have a question for you. Yes. Have you ever heard of Carlos Santana? Yes. Have you ever heard the song Black Magic Woman? I have. When when last time you heard it? It's been a dog's age, man. Well, we're going. Can we can we dog that in here today? Yes. Yes, that's mm -hmm. We're gonna do that after this. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Black Magic Woman. That's I love the first that. song I heard when I was seventeen years old, and I had, I was discovering girls for the first time, and my, oh my uncle. No, 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 no. It's all good. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We all remember. Hey, man. Birds and the bees, man. No, no, no. I don't know about no bees. <laughs> All I'm saying is my daughter's mushing over there. Okay. No, but we're, we're gonna... <clears throat> Let's finish up this, this video. <laughs> this <laughs> but Black Magic will be oh, coming there. Oh, <laughs> Alright, here we go. It says, The Terrapin Station Suites, second part, Terrapin Station, begins as it first, as, as did the first, with an invocation. This one is addressed directly to inspiration, perhaps the name of the muse being invoked and again the poet seeks to be granted the ability to tell a story on fire with elements that will make it alive evocations evocations of the senses and again the muse is asked to allow staying power to the poet to hold away despair mm -hmm. the poet promises not to ask for more than this gift of being allowed to tell a story that will come alive for his readers and that in doing so he may remain confident unbowed he, he explicit he explicitly then states that he will only ask for those gifts and no more he will not seek power because the job of the storyteller is not to gain power over things, but simply to reveal things as they are, as stated in the first section. And with that, Hunter is off, into a song that only hints at its subject. The destination we will all arrive at, Terrapin Station. Mm -hmm. With a verse that invokes the early night sky and the atmosphere of singing insects. So there is a 
like a bring brought to life like a cartoon like you can mm -hmm. imagine like a uh, being a terrapin you know a terrapin like the album cover mm -hmm. you can imagine you know life terrapins coming to life and you know mm -hmm. it's fun um so vividly for so many listeners that i am sure i am not the only one who ever who every time i see a young moon sing to myself brand new crescent moon and looks for Venus in close proximity if the time of day is right. To this one verse, I owe so many moments of sublime appreciation to the natural world. And the same is true when I hear crickets sing, which happens pretty much every night in my own backyard. I take a moment to appreciate the rare and different tune they sing. Each of us brings a me imagery to mind. Mm -hmm. Cer certainly, when we close our eyes while listening to this portion of the suite. But I am very curious to know about the experience of others who close their eyes to see. When you hear the words, spiral light of Venus, what comes to mind? And in particular, when you hear the words, terrapin station, what in the world or what not in the world do you conceive of? What do you think when you hear Terrapin Station? I don't know. Like a magical <laughs> fantasy world? I didn't, actually. I really thought it was a name of like a station until I discovered it was named after turtles. And then yeah. the back of turtles in like Chinese culture, they they use them as like a... It represents like the universe, the way the shapes are on the back of a turtle. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't know that. Thank you for sharing that plethora of information. <laughs> yeah, wow. Oh, I didn't know I that. Knew they, I knew they had, there was something mystical about it. Like, you know, the and turtles, was, the shells on the back of terrapins? You gotta give credit. Uh, this is by David Dodd. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, off of the greatest stories ever told, Terrapin Station. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's a little background on it. And, uh, yeah, that was a very uh, interesting song, wouldn't you it say? It is. I the lyrics again. Lyrics are cool, but the music was top notch for you. Yeah, I like the music. Well, you thank you for experiencing. You're welcome. Terrapin Station. <laughs> that, I know that was quite a ride for you. Yeah, and it wasn't that it's lyrics; it's poetry. Yeah. So the poetry is deep for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. but the music was spot on. All right. I like the percussion. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay. Once again, that was written by Jerry Garcia and Robert Hunter. So give credit nice. to them. Nice. Okay. Nice. As we uh, celebrate the life and times of Mr. Jerry Garcia. And this is your Hippie with Harmony Mojo Daddy Mystic, Mama Moon. Bye, guys. Peace, love, and happiness. Stay groovy.